Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the news at 9. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi returns home to a grand welcome after a successful week-long visit to the United States. India slams Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan for misusing UN General Assembly platform to justify terrorism. Four terrorists killed in two separate encounters in Jammu and Kashmir, one army jawan also martyred. Prime Minister to share his thoughts with people across the country and abroad in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio tomorrow. Violence mars presidential election in Afghanistan. In World Athletics Championships, India's MP Jabir to compete in men's 400-meter hurdle semi-final at Doha tonight. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has returned home to a grand welcome after a successful week-long visit to the United States. Mr. Modi received a rousing welcome after landing at Palam Technical Air Force Station in New Delhi this evening. A host of union ministers, BJP Working President J.P. Nadda, Delhi Unit Chief Manoj Tiwari and several BJP MPs were present. Addressing the gathering that reached the airport to welcome the Prime Minister, Mr. Modi said he is grateful to the people for reaching in large numbers to receive him. He recalled that after his victory in 2014 general elections and taking over as the Prime Minister, he went to the U.S. and addressed the U.N. General Assembly. Mr. Modi said he noticed a great difference between then and now. The Prime Minister said India's stature has gone up in the eyes of the world. He said he considers it as the might of democracy by receiving a massive mandate in the 2019 elections. <laughs> प्यार आदर सम्मान प्राप्त किया है यह भी भारत के गौरव को बढ़ाने वाला है The Prime Minister said he met several world leaders in the United States और यूनाइटेड नेशंस में विश्व भर के आए हुए नेताओं से मिलना हुआ हर किसी की जुबान पर शुरुआत यही से होती थी हाउडी मोदी पूरे विश्व पर Hindustani kis prakar se prabhav pada kar sakte hai? Bharat kis prakar se dunia ke dil ko jeet sakta hai? Ye maine apni aankhon se dekha hai, apne aap anubhav kiya hai. During his visit to the U.S., Mr. Modi attended the mega Howdy Modi event on the first day and addressed 50,000 Indian Americans at the NRG Stadium in Houston. U.S. President Donald Trump also made his appearance at the event. The very next day, on September the 23rd, the Prime Minister addressed the UN Climate Summit at the UN headquarters in New York. On September the 24th, the Prime Minister inaugurated the Gandhi Solar Park and spoke at a special program to celebrate Mahatma Gandhi's 150th birth anniversary. He also met the US President for bilateral talks. He addressed the Bloomberg Global Business Forum on Wednesday and culminated the trip by addressing the UNGA session yesterday. India has slammed Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan for misusing the United Nations General Assembly platform to justify terrorism. Strongly hitting back at Pakistan Prime Minister's statement at UN General Assembly in New York, India said its citizens do not need anyone else to speak on their behalf, and least of all those who have built an industry of terrorism from the ideology of hate. Exercising the right to reply, First Secretary in India's permanent mission to the United Nations, Bidisha Moitro said, unfortunately, Pakistan Prime Minister's speech was a callous portrayal of the world in binary terms. Ms. Moitro said, it is a script that fosters divisiveness at the United Nations. She said, rarely has the General Assembly witnessed such misuse, rather abuse of an opportunity to reflect. Prime Minister Imran Khan's threat 
of unleashing nuclear devastation qualifies as brinksmanship, not statesmanship. Prime Minister Khan's justification of terrorism was brazen and incendiary. Having mainstreamed terrorism and hate speech, Pakistan is trying to play its wild card as the newfound champion of human rights. This is a country that has shrunk the size of its minority community from 23% in 1947 to 3% today. Four terrorists were killed in two separate encounters in Jammu and Kashmir. Three terrorists were killed in an encounter in Batot area of Ramban district along the jammu Kishtwar National Highway today. An army jawan was martyred while two police personnel sustained injuries in the encounter. Our correspondent has the details. The encounter started when terrorists tried to escape after firing at a quick reaction team of the army in the morning near a village in Raman district but were chased by the security forces and encircled in a house in Bato town where they held owner of the house hostage. The terrorists were asked to surrender but they resorted to firing which was returned by the security forces in which three terrorists got killed. The owner of the house who was held hostage was rescued unharmed. According to Inspector General of Police Jammu Zone, Mukesh Singh, the slain terrorists have been identified as Zahid, Osama and Harun. R.K. Rana, Air News, Jammu. Meanwhile, another terrorist was killed in an operation in central Kashmir's Gandharbal district. Security sources said the counter-terrorist operation was launched by security forces in Narayana Gangabal on the basis of specific information about the presence of a group of terrorists in the area this afternoon. At least two more terrorists are believed to be holed up. More details are awaited. In another incident, terrorists lobbed a grenade at CRPF patrol in Old Srinagar city today. A CRPF official said the grenade was hurled at the troops of 49 Battalion CRPF in Navakadal area. He said it exploded at a distance away from the troops. No loss of life or injury was reported. The Supreme Court today set up a five-judge constitution bench headed by Justice N.V. Ramana to hear a batch of pleas related to abrogation of Article 370 provisions that gave special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Quoting an official source, PTI reports that the bench will commence hearing to examine the constitutional validity of the scrapping of the Article's provisions and the subsequent presidential orders on it. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts and visit our website www.newsonair.com and News on AIR app. Today we will meet this village's first girl who has cleared her medical exam and has not only made her family, but also made her name of the whole village. Are you ready? Thank you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? लेकिन आपने ऐसी क्या खास तैयारी की खास तैयारी तो बाबा ने की बाबा ने चार साल पहले बाबा ने घर पे इज्जत घर बनवाया तब से बाहर नहीं जाना पड़ा और मैं स्वस्थ और सुरक्षित रह पाई और चैन से पढ़ाई कर पाई इसी से मेरी तैयारी की शुरुआत हुई इज्जत घर के इस्तेमाल से सपना की तरह कई और जिंदगी बदल रही है इसलिए इज्जत घर का इस्तेमाल करते रहिए हर कोई हर रोज हमेशा पेयजल एवं स्वच्छता विभाग जल शक्ति मंत्रालय भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with people across the country and abroad in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio tomorrow at 11 a.m. It will be the 57th episode of the monthly radio program. It will be broadcast on the entire network of AIR and Doordarshan and also on AIR News website www.newsonair.nic.in and News on AIR mobile app. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has said Pakistan should understand that with the strong resolve of New Delhi and advancement in its naval capacity, the country is capable of giving a much bigger blow to it. He was speaking after commissioning of INS Khanderi, the second of Calvary-class diesel-electric attack submarines of the Indian Navy in Mumbai today. भारतीय नौसेना को मजबूती देने के लिए हम कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ेंगे आधुनिक अस्त्र शस्त्र से लैस भारतीय नौसेना किसी भी पीस लविंग नेशन के लिए कोई खतरा नहीं है कि भारतीय नौसेना इंडियन ओशन रेजन के सभी छोटे बड़े देशों में भरोसा और परस्पर विश्वास पैदा करना चाहती है मगर कुछ ऐसी ताकतें हैं जिनकी हसरतें नापाक हैं लेकिन उनके इरादे किसी भी सूरत में कामयाब नहीं होंगे 
On the occasion, the Defence Minister also launched INS Nilgiri, the first ship of the P-17A frigates, and inaugurated a world-class aircraft carrier dock. President Ramnath Kovind presented the prestigious President's Colours to the Corps of Army Air Defence at a function in Gopalpur in Ganjam district of Odisha. The award was given to the Corps on the occasion of 25 years of Army Air Defence College. It was received by Army AD Centre on behalf of the Corps of Army Air Defence. In his address, President Govind recalled the glorious legacy of the Indian Armed Forces in protecting the unity, integrity and sovereignty of the nation in general and the Corps of Army Air Defence in particular. Today is Shaheed Bhagat Singh's 112th birthday. Several functions were held across Punjab to pay tributes to the great freedom fighter. Addressing a gathering at Khatkar Kala in Nawashahar district, Punjab Cooperative and Jail Minister Sukhjinder Singh Randhava said, there is need to recognize the contribution of Bhagat Singh in the country's freedom struggle. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu and Prime Minister paid tributes to Shahid Bhagat Singh on his birth anniversary. In Bihar, normal life has been badly affected in several parts of the state due to torrential rainfall. A red alert has been sounded in 24 districts, including Patna, Bhojpur, Baksar, Darbhanga and Samastipur districts. More from our correspondent. An average 100-250 mm rainfall has been recorded throughout the state. Low-lying areas in Patna have been submerged. People are being evacuated by Javans of NDRF. Rainwater has entered Nalanda Medical College Hospital. Patients have been shifted to safer places. Rail traffic on patna Howrah section has been paralyzed due to overtopping of railway track at several places. Over one dozen trains have been cancelled and several trains diverted. Met Department has forecast torrential rain in the next 48 hours. Chief Minister Nitish Kumar convened an emergency meeting and reviewed the situation. With KK Lal's report, Anuja Kumar for AIR News. This is All India Radio giving you the news. Mummy, I'm ready for the bazaar. You have kept the clothes, right? Mr. Mantri Ji has said that we are going to be a single-use plastic. क्या इससे देश को मुक्ति दिला सकते हैं मैं तो सभी दुकानदारों से आग्रह करूंगा एक बार ये भी लगा दीजिए कृपा करके हमसे प्लास्टिक की थैली की अपेक्षा न करें आप अपने घर से कपड़े का थैला लेकर के आइए जूट के थैले हो कपड़े के थैले हो मेरे किसान को मदद करेगा गरीब विधवा माँ जो सिलाई करती होगी उसको मदद करेगा यानी हमारा एक छोटा सा निर्णय भी सामान्य मानवीय के जीवन में किस प्रकार से बदलाव ला सकता है हम उस दिशा में काम करें क्या आपने रखा है अपने साथ कपड़े का थैला अफगान्स वोटेड इन प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शन टूडे इवन एज इंसर्जेंस अटैक्ट पोलिंग सेंटर्स इन सीरीज ऑफ ब्लास्ट एंड क्लैशेज ब्रोक आउट अक्रॉस द कंट्री दैट लेफ्ट एटलीस्ट टू पीपल डेड द फर्स्ट राउंड वोट मार्क्स द कलमिनेशन ऑफ अ ब्लडी इलेक्शन कैंपेन अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स आर इन द फ्रे बट क्लोज रेस इज बींग सीन बिटवीन प्रेसिडेंट अशरफ गनी एंड इज बिटर राइवल अब्दुल्ला अब्दुल्ला द कंट्रीज चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव रिजल्ट आर नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड अंटिल अक्टोबर नाइनटीन्थ need more than 50% of the vote to be declared the outright winner or else the top two will head for a second round in November. In World Athletics Championships, India's MP Rabir failed to qualify in the men's 400-meter hurdle semi-final at Doha a short while ago. The Asian bronze medalist finished fifth in his heat. Ace Indian sprinter Duthi Chand also failed to qualify for the 100 meters heats. Mixed relay team is going to compete later today. India's hopes for making a mark at the championships rest on the relay team, especially the mixed relay unit that won gold at Asian Games 2018. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi returns home to a grand welcome after a successful week-long visit to the United States. India slams Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan for misusing UN General Assembly platform to justify terrorism. Four terrorists killed in two separate encounters in Jammu and Kashmir. One army jawan also martyred. Prime Minister to share his thoughts with people across the country and abroad in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio tomorrow. Violence Mars presidential election in Afghanistan. And in World Athletics Championships, India's MP Jabir fails to qualify in men's 400-meter hurdles semi-final at Doha. 
And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.